Is this thing still on, honestly? <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Hey, God. Guess who's back? Oh, God. This is terrible. I don't even remember how to, like, how to edit videos. Guys, I started a YouTube channel <laughs> like a year ago. Got some... 200 followers love them all and i just like some five videos later i just ran away i don't know maybe it was the overwhelm there was the, there was this one video um a little story on consistency that garnered over thirteen thousand views and i was like oh my god what are you guys watching anyway what are you what are you watching what are you watching and i just panicked and ran um, but I feel so strongly the Lord has been telling me, okay, it's time to come back. It's time to come back. I changed the name of my YouTube channel. It was previously called Ask Ida. And now I'm thinking, Ask Ida what? Me, myself, I don't even know. <laughs> I've been going through such a thing. Oh my God. The way this year I rebranded my business, uh, my nutrition and wellness coach, for those of you who don't know me. So now it's called The Wellness Cure, which is a name the Lord led me to just um, earlier this year when I was just doing a little bit of a rebranding. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm a nutrition and wellness coach. Um, and so The Wellness Cure it is. So I'm just hopping back here today because I was lying in bed this morning just thinking about what i've been through um, over the last few months of doing some self-work it has been very difficult i remember in the beginning of the year the lord had to me prepare because this isn't one of those glam new year messages this is going to be your year of favor no it was this is the year of going back to class I didn't know what it meant, but I even remember in one of my coaching sessions, uh, we were discussing the new year and with a client of mine. Um, and I remember I just broke down and cried, which I never do. Okay, I've cried once once in a while in sessions when it, there's an emotional situation and stuff. But I remember the Lord telling me this is the year of going back to class. And I knew he was talking about some of the reasons as to why there has been a delay in the manifestations of some of the things I have wanted to see happen in my life. But I knew it was going to be difficult. And truly, it has it has not been a, 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 an easy half year. We are now literally halfway through the year. Um, and I was just thinking about who. And I know also through my coaching sessions and speaking with um, a lot of women, there has been such a weight on people, like a frustration. And for, and for those of us, mostly who are in the body of Christ, there's a frustration of waiting for this promise or this thing you had discussed with God and you keep getting a prophetic word that your season has, has come, your season has come, season in, season out, season in, season out, and nothing is changing. And I know there has been a frustration and I totally relate because that was one of my greatest challenges. And when I was lying in, in, in bed today, I, I, I had such a longing. I was like, God, you know, um, I'm doing the work. I'm doing everything you're telling me. For once, I'm finding myself a little bit more obedient by the grace of God. I've always delayed God's word. I've always, especially when it's, he tells me to do something I don't want to do, I find myself delaying. Then later I complain because, Lord, you've taken so long to do this for me. And he's like, what was the last thing I told you to do? And so now I am being a little bit more compliant. But what, and the reason I'm here today is because he was showing me that you're now not taking the present moment for granted. You've always had this longing to just rush through the seasons, rush through the healing. You, you want the acquisition without doing the work. Yeah. And the reason I've come on here today is just to encourage somebody who has been waiting for long that perhaps you're waiting on God and God is waiting on you.
perhaps your breakthrough or your answer is anchored on the last thing he told you to do. For example, say you have a lot of weight to lose, right? And you've done the whole yo-yo thing, you've extreme dieted, lost weight, it came back, and then some. And you're just like, Lord, why, why can't I just get this thing right? And perhaps the Lord gave you a very simple instruction. Start walking. No gym. Forget the gym. Forget these extreme diets. Just start walking. And you're thinking, that's so easy. Was that even the Lord? <sighs> or you do it for a day or two and you lose focus. You forget that it was a word from the Lord. But what we don't understand is God knows the end from the beginning. And so when he gives us a task to execute or he gives us an instruction, there's so much that is anchored on that obedience. That very walking could be what he accelerates you into rapid weight loss just by you walking. You know, I truly, truly feel that this is the season where we have to go back and ask God, please remind me, what is the last thing you told me to do because I'm tired of waiting and I, I know you're a good God, so you're not punishing me. You've not discounted me. You've not forgotten. You're all perfect. All perfect. You make no mistakes. So what am I missing? What is the last instruction you gave me? I truly think that nothing will change until your prayer life changes. I truly think that this is the season to travel, like push into prayer like you've never pushed. This is the season um, to speak in tongues because you can't counteract tongues. You don't know what you're saying. So you just let the Holy Spirit pray for you, plead for you, intercede for you without you getting in the way. I truly, truly believe that our answers are predicated by us being obedient. I truly think hope deferred is often caused by disobedience. I truly think a lot of times for those of us who are tired of waiting on God or maybe have questioned God and their faith has withered, I'm not saying in all cases, I am saying in many, many cases, it's an act of disobedience that you either didn't obey or you were scared to do the last thing he told you to do. Yeah? Because you're leaning on your own understanding. How is it going to work? It's going to, he told you to open that business. And you're thinking, oh my God, that's so stupid. That is, it's going to take me forever, forever. That's not a business that can give me the kind of money I want. But he knows why he's telling you to do what you need to do. So I just wanted to encourage somebody today. Perhaps the cure to your ache is to just do the last thing he told you to do. Be scared, but do it anyway. Have your doubts, but do it anyway. I also just want to encourage you to speak in tongues more than you even use English to pray or whatever language you use. I truly feel that this is the season to travel. It's good to be back. Like, subscribe, um, and take care.